What's up everybody and welcome back to another video. In this video today I'm going to be talking with you about Law of Attraction and how I have incorporated this into my life consciously because we use it unconsciously but since I've been aware of my own personal power in creating my reality I begin to really do things that can assist me to get to where I want to be. So um, I talk about this mainly on my Facebook about how you know your mind can help create your reality. I also have a video on this channel that talks about you are a creator. And I do want to first say this, when it comes to law of attraction, it is understanding that where you are in your being, your mindset, your energy space, you're gonna create your reality from that. So whether you are doing it consciously or unconsciously or subconsciously, living from your subconscious in which we do, you're creating anyway. So I decided to say, well, if I can create a very chaotic life, then why don't I try to create a more harmonious life? So I want to talk about that because a lot of people jump into the law of attraction and think it's going to be peaches and cream off the rip within three months, six months time. And I am, I am here to tell you that although that is very possible, it's just really, it wasn't my reality. Um, I had to go through a lot of different things. Even some things I'm like, how am I doing what I've learned, which is setting my intentions, doing my goals, keeping my mindset right, taking care of my health. If I'm doing all of these things that I have studied to help me to consciously create my reality, why am I going through so much? Why is my life a living hell? So now that I'm on the other side of that, I look at it like it wasn't a living hell more so of what I had to go through because of what it is I asked for. You can't have things remaining the same. And in order for you to change and to grow, things have to happen. And those things are not gonna be pleasurable. They're not gonna feel good. Some may, but in order for you to learn lessons that you have to learn, you have to go through some things, some very intense things. And a lot of people use the uh, phrase, new levels, new devils. That is so true. Every time you write out your goals and you want to accomplish something big, something different, things cannot remain the same. So when you set out to accomplish these goals or to do whatever it takes to change your life from where it is to where you want to be, things begin to shift and change. Change is very uncomfortable. And in my life, the changes that have taken place, oh my gosh, sent me on a roller coaster. Okay, it sent me on a roller coaster. I was like, wow, you know. And this goes all the way back to vision boards. I did a vision board many years ago when I was depressed. And everything, after I did that board, my life just went into shambles. But after that, everything on that board manifested itself. And once I realized that, I said, wow, life is going to happen. But as I want to accomplish these goals that I have for my family, for myself, but my children, my partner, us, our family, things had to change. And in order for me to change, change my mind and change my heart, I had to go through some pretty intense things. So I went through all of that, the first board, everything happened on that board, which encouraged me to, to do a second board. And for many of you who have not done a vision board, I will say don't procrastinate on that. Give it a try. And when things start to get shaken up in your life, because it will, I'm just going to be real with you. It will, you will be uncomfortable as you go through changes to prepare you for what you've asked for, for what you want, for that car, for that house, for that partner who loves you, genuine love, for your kids to uh, have the things that they need because you're tired of struggling, different things like that. Things are gonna be shaken up and you're gonna be uncomfortable. But in that, it does not mean your board is not manifesting. So I'm telling you, it will manifest itself. So do your first board. So after my first one was out of the way, I created a second board. And I'm telling you, 
my life again just went crazy okay it went crazy i just i can't jump into the details here i end up going through some legal things relationship changes uh, my children different challenges uh, in their lives relocation i a financial um obstacles friendship issues anything that could have been tapped on to send me into a downward spiral mentally and physically in my health happened i would have never imagined it for myself because things just appear so perfect and all i wanted to do was to add on that what i put on my vision board i didn't want things to change well maybe i did because i asked for those things so that is the thing things have to change things begin to come to the forefront you begin to see different things uh, shifts take place in your life that you never saw coming to get you to where you want to be for the good for the good so if you're in an unhappy place like your career your relationship and you want change in that that's what i am talking about with creating a change for yourself by doing the vision board and things will begin to get shaken up those questions you had in your being about is this right or is this wrong you your intuition will strengthen and you will um go through a lot but you can't want you have the strength to endure it you do so ride that okay ride that roller coaster because this board will manifest itself but in this video i'm going to talk about a particular book that i read actually a few times and i'm reading it again because i like to refresh my my memory i like to sharpen myself in areas to help me to get to where i want to be so i set very small goals for myself in the beginning i accomplished that and I set bigger goals for myself, which meant bigger things uh, that I had to go through, more intense things. And if you think of things on like vibration, energy, frequency, and you can um, watch other YouTube videos on that, or I can do one eventually, but if you're in a hurry to learn right now, check out some of the videos on YouTube about um, energy and how you are energy. So things that you ask for, you have to be aligned with that. You can't say, I want this particular thing, and you are not prepared in your heart, mind, and spirit for this. How will it help you if you're not prepared for it? Would it add to you or would it bring more troubles for you? Different things like that. So you have to be ready um, to receive those things you are asking for by aligning yourself with that, therefore adjusting your energy. So um, I started reading this book, and let me show it to you. Think Grow Rich. If you follow me on my Instagram, I posted this um, book on there. It's been a long time ago, and I read it. And when I tell you, I began to incorporate the things in this book, and my life went crazy even more. And a lot of people begin to do things to help themselves. And because things are not peaches and cream right away, you feel like it's not working. Hang in there. It has to happen. I am telling you, it has to happen. Miracles has been taking place in my life that I would have never expected after the chaos. After the chaos. So in this book, it breaks down, think, grow rich, pretty much your mind starting with your mindset, understanding your energy, understanding your environment, how everything around you can help you or bring you down. This includes your partners, the jobs that you're working, your inner chat, your health. It goes on and on and on. And I'll put the link for this book in the um, description box because I want you to get it. I want you to get it and I want you to read it and apply it to your life. And as things begin to get shook up, and I'm going to tell you, if you are tired of things being the way that it is, and you decide to take this step to jump into law, of, um, understanding law of attraction, intentional living, doing vision boards, manifestation techniques, reading books like this, that uh, this is law of attraction all the way around the board, even the book, The Secret, that's another one. 
if you and this just y'all if you decide to take this path just understand it's not easy at first but it's so worth it it is worth it it's so worth it okay so um i can go in here and share a couple of things with you all i'm not going to read a lot because I want you to get it and read it. This book looks like it has been through a lot. Um, and it has, but it's okay. So I'm going to share one story in this book. I'm not going to read it. I'm just going to sum it up. And it talks about um, a particular person who wanted to change his life. And he decided that, well, for one, he didn't have much money to... Um, to accomplish what he wanted to do so he decided to just take a leap of faith and figured out a way to get himself in front of a particular individual and start from the bottom in this particular company so that he could at least be in the presence or around or connected to this individual that he wanted to partner with and a lot of us want to just go from where we are to that goal just boom like right away we don't want to put the work in we don't want to even ha um, go through what's necessary to get our mind right and our bodies right to get to where we need to be putting in that hard work and believing in ourselves a lot of us want to skip that step but that's not it may happen for some that way especially those who are born into uh, whatever a lot of money or whatever you want to say where it's like okay we well, don't have to work hard honey here you go and then you have those like me that creates life from my mind. We all created from our mind, but I didn't have anything handed to me to say, here you go, Kwanya, put this on your website. You don't have to worry about money for the rest of your life. This, 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 this. You know, that's, that was not my case. So when it comes to me getting to where I want to be, that require I do a lot of work on me. A lot of work on my mindset a lot of work on my physical my environment everything that this book talks about so it all starts with the mind long story short this guy was able to go from where he was to where he wanted to be by simply believing in himself believing in himself and it shares the details in this book and it goes on and on about some other things that I would have never thought was affecting me, uh, pulling me down, uh, being a, just a, what do you call it, being a um, distraction for me. It just really opened up my eyes to things and I began to implement everything this book has shared, what that I've learned in this book and my life just... I don't know if you believe in miracles, but it just, it's amazing. It's amazing. So I do want to um, encourage you to get this book. I know a lot of us don't have time to read. We're on the go all the time, but I'm telling you, take the time to read. Take the time to read. Back away from the news. Back away from um, reality shows back away from environments where people really are not talking about anything to pour into you just a bunch of gossip you know if you are at a place where you want and I'm talking to the ones who want to change their life who want to accomplish their goals start with books like this start with vision boards start by writing your goals out um, affirmations things like that and although things will get very challenging because it will you have what it takes to get through that endure it and i assure you you're going to be so happy that you did so that's it for this video everyone i appreciate you tuning in um once again i'll put the description so you can order this book i put the link in the description so that you can order this book and um let me know how it goes you can read this to your children um, maybe on a family night, y'all read a chapter, your partner, that's another good thing because it also talks about your partner and your partner can help you or hurt you. If they don't believe in you, then they're going to be at a, in a space to where they can't support you. They can't encourage you. They won't even try to understand your goals. It goes into a lot of different things that I really thought didn't matter, but it does. It does. So. 
Thank you all for tuning in. I'll chat with you all later on. Thank you to all of my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. If you have any questions about Law of Attraction, please put that down in the comment area. I did do a blog post for um, a website called Electrified Mind, in which is so crazy. On my vision board, I have put an electrified, electrified brain just for three years later for me to get featured on a Electrified Mind website and podcast. I'm gonna also put that link in the description because you can create your life. You have to take matters into your own hand and do what's necessary and endure. You do. You have what it takes. Okay, that's enough for this video. I'll talk with you all later. Love and light.